What do you mean by the term LVDT? My name is Rishi Ramju and welcome to the Backbench Engineering Community where I make engineering easy for you. So let me ask you guys the obvious question again. What do you mean by the term LVDT? Well, let's find out. So LVDT is the abbreviation for Linear Variable Differential Transformer. This Linear Variable Differential Transformer is a type of inductive transducer. A transducer is a device that converts a physical quantity into an electrical signal. But here, in the case of an LVDT, it converts a displacement into a particular electrical signal. That is, the physical quantity that we measure here is the displacement. Well, how can we measure the displacement with the help of an LVDT? Well, for that, let us first construct a basic diagram of an LVDT. An LVDT contains a cylinder-like shape like this. So now, on top of this, first we wind a particular primary winding like this. So this is a primary winding. Let us take it as, say, P1. And now this P1 is connected to an input AC voltage like this. Let this be say Vn. And now here we now connect two secondary windings like this. So let this be say S1 and let this be say S2. And now the output is obtained across here like this which is V out. So this is the basic diagram of a linear variable differential transformer. And now inside this hollow cylinder, we place a particular core-like object like this. A core is placed. This is called the core, C-O-R-E, core. And now it is this core that gets displaced inside this particular cylinder. And it is the displacement of this particular core that can be converted into a corresponding electrical signal. But how is this possible? How can the displacement of this particular core provide a particular electrical signal at the output over here. So for that, for in order for us to understand the concept, let us expand this diagram and draw it over here. So first we have a primary winding like this. We have a primary winding like this. And now this primary winding is connected to an AC voltage source. And now where there is a primary winding, there is a secondary winding as well. So here we have two secondary windings. So here we have two secondary windings. First one is S1. But the secondary winding is connected in an opposite polarity to S1. That is, S2 is connected in an opposite polarity to S1 and is connected in series to S1. And the output voltage V out is obtained over here. So this is the primary winding P1 and these are the secondary windings. So now a core is placed over here like this. This is the core. So now as the core moves inside here, we have to get an output electrical signal over here. How is that? Well, let's find out. So now, first condition, let us assume that the core is in the center like this. So now, when the core is in the center, equal amount of voltage or equal amount of EMF gets induced onto S1 and S2. That is because here, the number of turns for S1 and S2 are identical. The only difference between S1 and S2 is that they are connected in opposite polarity that is if this is plus minus then this would be plus minus like this so here when the core is in the center equal amount of EMF gets induced into S1 and S2 so now first condition when core is at center the EMF induced at S1 is equal to the EMF induced at S2 and therefore the output voltage V out is given as ES1 minus ES2 is equal to zero. Therefore, we do not obtain any kind of an output voltage at V out over here because the induced EMF at both these coils are equal. Now, next let us consider that a particular displacement is given to this particular core. That is, now let us assume that the core is displaced in this particular direction. We are displacing into this particular direction like this. So therefore, now as it gets displaced here, the core is now over here. And because the core is over here, the magnetic flux linkage with S1 is greater than the magnetic flux that is linked between P1 and S2. So here, the flux 
flux linkage between P1 and S1 is more and therefore more EMF gets induced onto S1 and therefore now when core is at the left here the flux at S1 is greater than the flux at S2 and therefore the EMF at S1 is greater than the EMF at S2 and therefore the output voltage V out is given as EMF at S1 minus EMF at S2. So this is the electrical signal that we can obtain when the core gets displaced towards the left. Now next condition let us assume that we are displacing the core towards the right like this. Let us displace this core towards the right like this. So now when the core is over here the magnetic flux that is linked between P1 and S2 will be greater when compared to the magnetic flux that is linked between P1 and S1. And therefore as there is more magnetic flux linkage between P1 and S2 more EMF will get induced in S2 rather than S1. So here let us consider the case when the core is in the right position. So when the core is at the right position the flux at S2 is greater than the flux at S1 and because of this the EMF that is induced in S2 is greater than the EMF that is induced in S1 and now therefore the output voltage V out is obtained as ES2 minus ES1. V out is equal to E ES2 minus ES1 as simple as that so therefore this thus is simply how we can measure the displacement of a particular object with the help of a linear variable differential transformer as simple as that. So here all we have to do is that for what object we have to calculate the displacement for that object is connected with this particular core and now when this particular object gets displaced like this corresponding to the induced EMF to S1 and S2 we get an output electrical signal here which can therefore be used to identify the displacement through which this particular object is moved. As simple as that guys. This is simply what you refer to as a linear variable differential transformer. So I hope you guys now have a clear understanding of what you refer to as a linear variable differential transformer. And if you guys found this video informative, do hit the like button and join this community by hitting that subscribe button. We'll be discussing about the further topics in the upcoming videos. So stay tuned, stay subscribed. Until next time. I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you.